when, when believers are put over the nations and the gods of those nations have been judged and removed and displaced and believers replace them, we become the reconstituted sons of God of the council. So now what's the payoff to all this? We have a few minutes left. Well, I would say again that, that you're beginning to see the, the idea of the heavenly council as a template for really the church, okay? And, and this, is, this actually works itself out in a number of ways, but the one we've talked about here is that God doesn't need a council, but he, he likes to have children and he likes those children to be partners. He wants them to participate with him in doing the things that he wants to get done. And that is gonna become a template for how God views human believers in the New Testament. You know, it's also interesting that the divine council we saw in Psalm 89, and again, this, that's not a unique verse, but the, the members of the council are called holy ones. Holy ones, okay, is, is a term that is mostly, I mean, overwhelmingly used as supernatural beings in the Old Testament. But when you get to the New Testament, that language used of supernatural beings in the Old Testament is never used of supernatural beings in the New Testament. It's only used of human believers. Again, it creates this connection between the members of, the, of this council and human believers over here. I mean, to, to cut to the chase, again, we'll develop these ideas later, but, but the whole idea of the cloud of witnesses in Hebrews, okay, Hebrews 12, it's a reference to the council. It's believers joining the council and ultimately, when you get to eschatology, when, when believers are put over the nations and the gods of those nations have been judged and removed and displaced and believers replace them, we become the reconstituted sons of God of the council. This is why Hebrews 2 has God or has Jesus presenting us to God and God to us where? In the congregation, in the council. Again, there's a logic to all of these things that, that make them blend together and cohere.